Today in Health Check, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. A lot of progress is being made fighting this disease through improved screening, precision medicine, and new surgical techniques. But today, we're talking about how medical answers can be found in the tumors themselves. And joining me is pathologist Dr. Yolin Zone. We so appreciate your coming because these are the folks, the pathologists are the ones who really ultimately determine sometimes the type of treatment a woman receives because you're looking inside these tumors and you're seeing the genes that give you the clues about what treatment's going to work and what won't. Absolutely, yes. Thank you so much for having me you here, bet. Linda. I really mm -hmm. appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm a board certified anatomic and clinical pathologist, so I am very familiar with breast cancers. Yeah. And um, what we do as pathologists is we are very crucial members of the clinical care team. We are physicians and we put together all the pieces of information that's available and then we look specifically at the tumor tissue itself and that's the only way that you can actually come up with a true diagnosis for the patient. Because that, those give you the clues on what treatment's going to work and which will not because what may work for my sister mm -hmm. may not work for me. Right, that's absolutely true because there are so many different types of breast cancers. So as pathologists, we actually look at the tumors underneath the microscope and we can um, classify them. We look at how bad and ugly they look. Right. And then also we do a special studies to look at whether or not they may have hormone receptors and also if they express something called HER2. And based on that, the oncologist decides what types of therapies are most likely to be effective. And this is so critical because it could mean, if I'm correct, mm -hmm. that some women are going to respond better to chemotherapy A, some to chemotherapy B, and some not to chemotherapy at all. Right, exactly. And that is absolutely what we do because we do not want patients to receive therapies that they do not need because these therapies are very expensive and they also have side effects. So by further testing and putting together all the different pieces of information that we as pathologists can provide, we can really help cater the type of therapy that is most likely to be effective in each and every patient. And you are so passionate about what you do and, and you spend many hours doing it. But look how many changes have already happened in your young career. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this going? So right now we have a pretty good um, solid foundation for how we look at breast cancers. Right. So I mentioned ER and PR, those are the hormone receptors uh -huh. and also HER2 and combining that with the morphology or the way that the tumor looks underneath the microscope, we have a very good idea of how well a tumor is going to behave and what types of therapies should be used. But the future direction that everybody is very interested in uh -huh. is really looking at the genes. So um, there's a lot of studies out there looking at you know what types of genes are mutated in different types of tumors and that is kind of the wave of the future but the current standard of treatment is still kind of the solid foundation. There's really nothing that can be a good pathologist's eye at this point. And that's exactly how many of the treatments are determined and we appreciate you so much coming this afternoon. There's so much we can talk about. We'll probably have you back later in the month if I'd you don't mind. I'd be happy to be back. Thank All you. Right. Thank you very much for coming. And while we're on this topic, I'd